tax hell is coming to the U.S. for a lot of Americans. We're going to talk today about the recent changes coming in that are going to make life much more unpleasant for people in the U.S. I mean, and Americans generally, so American citizens as well as American residents. There's some recent stuff I'm going to update you on. Before we do that, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit all the uh, hit the notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you would like help with paying the lowest legal amount of tax possible, relocating abroad, setting up a global structure for yourself, getting residencies and citizenships, we can help you with both the strategy of what is the best solution for you, as well as implementing that strategy. You can go and reach out to me. You can book a call, calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Rosmer. There's a link in the description below, or you can send a message through our website, offshorecitizen.net. Okay. So uh, there was recently a new act passed, which they call the Inflation Reduction Act. Of course, inflation it has nothing to do with inflation reduction at all, uh, but they passed the Inflation Reduction Act. And part of this was adding 87,000 new IRS agents. Now, let me give you some context for this. The IRS currently employs about 75,000 people. So you're talking about more than doubling the staff, which is a massive, massive increase. And the idea behind this is essentially to boost the revenues. So in other words, they say, okay, we're going to be spending, I think it's $480 billion on this bill. So we need to somehow make up for it somehow. And one of the ways is we don't want to necessarily increase taxes so much. Instead, what are we going to do? We're going to spend $80 billion on the IRS to add all these agents. Now, $80 billion is a lot of money to spend. They probably could be more strategic and smart about how they do it. But let me talk about what this is going to mean. So uh, first of all, a few things that are worth noting. So Biden promised there would be no tax increases for anyone under $400,000 a year. But then when the uh, Democrat, or sorry, the Republicans wanted to include a thing specifically saying no more audits on people uh, under $400,000, they refused to include it. So <laughs> that tells you a little bit about what's going on. Now the narrative, of course, is that you know, the uber rich are going to pay this, but the reality is that everybody super rich gets tax, uh, gets audited all the time anyway. So it, there's no reason to expect that there will be any kind of increases at the super high income level. It's more likely to be the lower income earners, the people who are earning, you know, a uh, couple hundred thousand dollars to a couple million dollars who are currently not getting harassed. Well, let's just say there's more than double the staff now who are going to come in. Now, this will take, you know, 2025, 2026, something like that, when this will start to come out. But just imagine, of course, we have two sides to it, right? I've talked about this in our video about kind of the worst countries for tax. The one is, okay, how are the tax laws? And certainly the IRS tax code is super complicated. It's filled with all these exceptions, etc. It's really poorly designed in that respect. It wasn't like holistically thought up in a smart way. It hasn't been uh, kind of sheared down for more efficiency. It's just kind of one exception after another, trying to like bandage together things with duct tape and create new exceptions and then cover up those exceptions and so on. It's not a very good system uh, or it's not a very optimally designed set of rules. Let's put it that way. Uh, however, in a bunch of areas, there has been a lack of people employed. So for example, one of those sets is we often help people renounce their US citizenship, leave, move abroad. Well, the people reviewing the returns for those who are gonna be leaving uh, is a very small group. And so there's very, very few audits in that process. Well, maybe there will be a lot more audits now. Uh, and so this in general is just unpleasant, right? Let's be honest, taxes in themselves are unpleasant having to go through some sort of Byzantine complex of taxes is pretty unpleasant. And when you have to add audits, audits are like the thing that people really hate. And so I would expect to that to increase quite a bit. So if you're an American, you may want to consider getting out sooner rather than later. If you were somebody who was thinking about going there, eh, you maybe want to second guess it. Uh, but otherwise, if you have a US, if you're a US person, and you're set up with some sort of international structure, you probably want to make sure that that is accurate, compliant, etc. because the chances you're going to get caught for some sort of violation is going up quite a bit. So we can help you with that. If you're interested, you can reach out. But other, and likewise, if you want to renounce, if you want to get a second passport, so you can kind of prepare that plan B, we can help you with all those things. 
And so reach out to us if you would like help. Otherwise, let me know what you think about this kind of increase in agents, this increase in spending. Put it in the comments below, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video.